this little uh, thumb drive, 64 gigabyte thumb drive, we slapped it in our uh, Asus Ally and all of a sudden you have a great foundation for some retro gaming. All these games, everything works really well. There's some pros and cons to this one, but if you want to just get started for super, super, super cheap and you want plug and play, this could be an option for you. So let's go ahead and check it out. So remember there are two variants. There's the 64 gigabyte variant and the 128. The 64 gigabyte variant is gonna work better with the Ally. The 128 is gonna be work, work better with the Steam Deck. And these are just entry level things. There's a lot more builds on SD cards, things like that coming up that I'll be sharing, but these are by far the cheapest if you just wanna grab some stuff really easily. Or remember you can always build it yourself as well. So I wanna point out here that if you hit that second button or the first button above the D-pad, you can go ahead and go to the command center and change to the game pad. And that's what you're gonna to want to play all these emulators on. You wanna set it as a game pad. Don't do auto, don't do um, browsing, do game pad to get the controls working correctly. But everything else is plug and play. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now all games, 8,371 games is what we're working with here. And uh, this is RetroBat. You can hit start on your controller here, play with all the settings. You can up, you can change the theme, the way it looks. You can change the sound settings. You can make it not click, you can make it click. All kinds of customization here. But just right off the bat, what you're interested in is the systems and, and what it comes with. This is a really small build, but when I saw this item on Amazon, it's only $25. So you cannot get cheaper than this. It does come on a little thumb drive and it is plug and play. You just put in a laptop or computer and you're ready to go. Uh, let's look at the systems here. Atari Lynx, Game & Watch, NES, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Game Gear, Dreamcast, Naomi, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, and then PSP, and then Supervision. And so, as you can see, there's no PlayStation, there's no PlayStation 2, there's no, um, there's a lot of systems, right? Commodore 64, regular Atari, um, Nintendo 64, um, you know, so missing some systems there and then nothing above GameCube. Now, with 64 gigabytes, you're really limited on space, so I don't mind that they did this, but let's go ahead and go through the collections really quick. So Atari Lynx, you got 82 games. You see, it's got some nice photos on it. And they, I've tested all these games, they work. Game & Watch, 59 games. You know, most of you are probably not gonna play these games, but it has it. Now, NES. 1800 games the nintendo did not have 1800 games well if you watch the video i did not so long ago and a lot of these builds they're using kind of the same nes rom set and it's including famicom homebrew games and everything in between but as far as like if you want to play the legend of zelda which we will be trying in this video later you just go to the t for the and then um you know you'll find it there when you go down to the t h the should be right around here somewhere. The Hunt for Red October or The Great Waldo Search. Um, it's in here somewhere. There you go. The Legend of Zelda. And as you see me go through these games, you'll see down here there's a little American flag. Oh, this is a touch screen, so I just loaded the um, <laughs> game. So yeah, look at that. The, the touch screen works for the... Um, anyways, I hit select and start on my controller to exit the game. You just hit select and start. And um, what I'm saying here is just it's a big, like hodgepodge buffet of ROMs in there and uh, so it has all your games though if you think you want an NES game or Famicom game it's probably in there now Game Boy here's where things get kind of interesting 1174 now it has your Mario games things like that the Wario lands I checked it all out already it's got it all we're not gonna go through all 1000 games but for example, when it comes to Pokemon which is a very popular game let's go down to Pokemon they have the Japanese variants and they have the Spanish variants as well. So you can see here, Pokemon Gold Edition Special Pikachu Edition, it's in, this one I think is even German. Uh, this one might actually be in English. Uh, but when it comes to Pokemon Blue, oh no, that, that, it's not, it's not English. I think it's Spanish or something like that. Uh, it does have Pokemon Red though. It has the Britain flag or the UK flag and uh, it does come in, uh, in English. But there's no Pokemon, I could not find a Pokemon Blue in English, is what I couldn't find. I found it in other languages, but not English. So that's kind of a bummer. But um, it does have your Wirelands and your Super Marios. And then while we're talking about uh, Pokemon, uh, Game Boy Color had, or Game Boy Advance had the, um, what is it, the Sapphire, I think, is on that console. I always forget all the names. But, um, you know, Game Boy Color 
I think had most of them. Oh yeah, here we go. No, this so there's here you go. You got Jap Japanese, Japanese, and then you got to go to Pokemon to get out of po and then so French, and then uh, Japanese, 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 and then you have Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, Pokemon Trading Game. And then it goes to Polaris. So, not the, again with the Pokemon with the Game Boy Color. You might have to if you're looking for the Pokemon game. You know, small little detail, uh, not there. But as far as like Mario Kart and Super Mario, it's all there. Now, Super Game Boy Advance. Again, all the games are there. Uh, Pokemon, I'm pretty sure is actually okay on this one, but um, it has all the Mario's as well. Some people like to check this because, especially on these builds, you know, those are the games they're going to be playing. So here you go. Yeah, this one is all set up. It has. Um, the English version of Emerald, and then French, French, Japanese, and then it has Pokemon Mystery Jun Dungeon, Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Ruby in English, and it, I think, did we see Sapphire? I think Sapphire we did see above there. No. No. So no Sapphire in English, but you have it in Japanese and you have it in Spanish. Um, and yes, the words are in Spanish and Japanese, but if, if you played the game a lot, you might be able to get away with it. Now, uh, let's go back. We skipped a couple uh, consoles. Game Boy, most of the games. Super Nintendo, this is every single Super Nintendo game, you're good to go. You name it, everything from, you know, Super Street Fighter 2 to Zelda, Aliens, you know, um, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, it's all there. Game Boy Advance, 1800 games, a lot of Japanese titles, a lot of all kinds of stuff all over the place. Play novel, Silent Hill. Nintendo DS, things get interesting here, 643. This is where I think they scrubbed out. Now, this is not all the Nintendo DS games, right? So it is not a complete collection, one. And two, um, it doesn't have any of the Nintendo games. No Donkey Kong, no Super Mario uh, Kart, no Super Mario, um, and no Pokemons here. Um, so maybe there's somewhere else. I didn't go, th I didn't painstakingly go through every single game, but I went to P and I went to T and I checked those where they should be. And, um, to be honest with you, a lot of junk games, in my opinion, um, that probably most of you will not play. So I feel like that's maybe where they can take some games out. And, uh, you know, Chuck E. Cheese has a game, party games. Uh, that's where they could take some games out and maybe add some more. Now, there is a chance that maybe just the ROM set, the way the ROMs are... No, I mean, the more I look at it, it's not looking too good. Yeah. So this looks like more of a safer... Not many of your popular titles... Uh, launch. Yeah, so... Don't get too excited about the Nintendo DS. Game Gear. Um, so if you notice the trend I'm noticing when you know, you're know you going through these, most of these are portable systems. So I feel like with the 64 gig, maybe they're thinking you're gonna put this with the Asus ROG Ally or something. But Game Gear, it's got all your games on it. Um, I, I like the Game Boy system as a whole growing up using it, but I just don't, I would rather, I would way rather play some of these other consoles myself. Um, Dream, but the Game Gear doesn't take up much space. So it's not like you're, you're you're swapping it out for another console. Now, Dreamcast and Naomi, you are taking up a lot of space on your little 64 gigabyte. Some of these games could be like 500, you know, almost half a gigabyte to a gigabyte. So, fun games though. The Dreamcast collection has some good games in it. And uh, Marvel Capcom 2, Ooga Booga, Power Stone, Sega Bass Fishing 1 and 2, Sega Tetris. Street Fighter 3, Double Impact, Street Fighter 2, The Grinch, King of Fighters 2, Tennis, Olgar, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Back to Zombie Revenge. And then you have the Naomi games as well. There's some like similar games from the other one, uh, like Crazy Taxi, Dead or Alive 2. But uh, you got some fun games here. So as we were going through these games, um, we're almost at the end. It's, it is a very, very tiny build, but remember, it's only $25, right? So fairly cheap. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, I'm not really going to get into those. Same with Supervision, you only have 66 games, nothing crazy. Now PSP, these are PSP minis, 
193 games are all PSP minis. I did not see a single full-size PSP game like Ridge Racer or Mortal Kombat or Ratchet and Clank or anything like that. So these are all going to be minis. I can just go a little faster here going through the minis. Now some of these games are fun to play. Don't get me wrong. Like there's some fun interesting games there. Um, but um, yeah, like 3-2-1 Super Crash. Great little fun game. All right, so there you have it. Here we are playing some Zombies Ate My Neighbors for SNES. And so as you saw in the video, you know, this is going to be some of your older systems. And it's, but it is missing quite a few systems and uh, also some newer stuff. So as I mentioned when I first reviewed this item in the laptop, which is the same item, right? It's just whether you do this on a laptop or whatever, um, you know, it's kind of a, it's a good starter pack and it's just super cheap. Um, you can obviously build this yourself and it would cost you nothing. You can download the emulator, set them up, and it's a great little learning experience. But if you just want something cheap, plug and play, maybe something to start with, and then you can always drag and drop some additional games that aren't included on here. This might be a good option. So some of you, what you could do with this USB thumb drive, by the way, is you can see here, it comes with an adapter and I'm plugged it directly into the to the ally. But, you know, what if you want to charge? Well, then you need to get a hub or you need to get like a little dock. Yeah, yeah. Or this thing is so small, you can literally just copy the entire contents of it onto your internal storage on the ally. And then do that. You can just drag it to your desktop, for example, on the ally. And then just ditch the thumb drive altogether. You can use the thumb drive for something else if you want to. So, um, yeah, you can grab this on Amazon, and uh, as you saw, it's not perfect. It's, you know, some language barriers doesn't have the ROM sense are not 100% complete. But um, you know, I don't. No one else is going to sell you it this cheap, right? It's these Chinese companies that are able to get the price down so much. I don't think you'll find something cheaper for what you're getting here, but I think you could definitely pay a little bit more and get a lot more. So, you know, the decision's up to you. That's what I think. Them, you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, come here.